Hey guys, Chaotic Confusion here, and we're here with another episode of the Red Strings Club. Um, like I said, I am kind of enjoying this game, so I was wanting to get a little bit further in it to see what we can find out. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, Absinthe on the Rocks, please. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, miss. I'm afraid I can't just serve, uh, that to you. Yeah, I'm afraid I can't just serve that to you. This is not your usual bar. Here, you tell me how you feel and I fix you- Here, you tell me how you feel and I fix you a matching drink. I see. Then I feel like asking you a series of questions regarding why you're prying into my client's business. How dry. You must be a lawyer, no? That's correct. I'm here representing Supercontinent's interests. What was Diana Mays' business here? Hold your horses now. Apart from serving drinks, I'm also an information broker. The questions have a price tag in this club. Okay, how much? Here's my deal. You ask as many questions as you want, then I get to ask that many questions myself. Fair enough. Although I should inform you that, unlike you, I won't be able to disclose any of my clients' sensitive information. Fair enough. Although I must let you know that, unlike you, I know my way around empathy is so empathy and subtlety. You risk leaking more information than you might think. I'll take my chances, mister. The name's Donovan, owner of the Red Strings Club. Nice to meet you. I am Name Across, corporate lawyer at Supercontinent Limited. Shall we commence business? Fire away. What was Diana Mize's business here? Is she oh she's just an old friend he pays me a visit every now and then we had a drink and caught up that's it please at least have the decency not to lie to me i won't lie to you either if i can't disclose something i will clearly specify so except that except that that was the truth miss cross friendship might sound alien in your world but we still keep loving each other at street level we kept diana safe from name Nema's inquiry Cross, not cross. I said cross, but it's not cross. Next question is about the Proxima organization. They've been making trouble for my client lately. I'd like to know exactly what Proxima's got on Supercon. Um. Hmm. I don't want to tell her too much, but I want to give her a little bit that hopefully won't hurt us. Just to make her open up a little bit more, I think. Um, I'll do that one. I don't know how they covered their tracks, but does your client know that Proxima snatched one of their top secret Akara androids? Is that true? So you're confirming the existence of such androids. Save us both some time and skip the Capture some questions, sir. Okay, okay. Save your rhetorical ones, too, then. Fair enough. Just tell me what you know. From what I've heard, Proxima got their hands on an old version of Akara. I know they've been experimenting with it. I don't know what they've gotten out of it. But it must be good, since Akara was the main business of the girl that infiltrated your clinic. That's useful in information. Thank you. Next question. Where is... Uh, Johanna Seftis. Come again? Where is Johanna Seftis? You're saying that as if I should know her. What a poor information dealer you are if you don't even know the super... Don't even know Supercontinent's chief operations officer. What's the matter? Is she missing? Forget about it. Alright, we got a missing person. That was all I had to ask. My turn then? Go ahead, you have three questions. I can't have you sitting here without a drink, though. This is a club, after all. Okay, but I won't be telling you how I feel or any of that nonsense. Don't worry. You let me know enough about yourself already for me to work my magic. Trust me, you'll like this. Alright, let's see what we have. Ambition. Stress. Or remorse. Oh, and that little pill there.
Let's see. I might go for remorse. Ugh. Hard to decide for sure. I know which one's the best. We'll see if that's close enough. I guess it's close enough. Hmm, I have to admit it, you serve good stuff here. Ah, uh, what am I doing in a bar at a time like this? Something troubling you? No, nothing. Not my place to judge a client. Just ask your questions. But she'd be going through an e ethical crisis? Let's dig in. Three questions left. Choose the topic wisely. Let's see. I do kind of want to know more about Johanna Seftis. Or Joanna, or however that's pronounced, I don't know. It's only natural she's missing. Do you mind telling me more? Maybe I can help you with this. For the record, I'm only sharing this because Johanna's life might be in danger. Otherwise, I would never break attorney-client privilege. Don't worry, it's very clear to me how detestably professional you are. So what happened to Johanna? Last thing we know is that some of her co-workers heard her crying in the bathroom. That's very unlike her, so the theory is that there might be a problem with her implant. Or that someone drugged her. Is she one of those that she might be one of those that we fixed that we fixed before we left. That Akara fixed, that is. We need to track her down before she does something stupid. I've already said enough. Knowing that, have you heard anything that might be able to help us? I'm perplexed. Nothing has reached my ears yet, though. I'll stay on the lookout for any clues and I'll call you if I find out anything useful. At a price, of course. Money's not a problem. So if you find anything, just call me and you'll be appropriately rewarded. Seems that Adrian, Adriani's rogue implants have fulfilled their purpose. Akara gave Johanna the hippie, which magnifies compassion. Maybe she was having second thoughts and broke down? Two questions left. Choose the topic wisely. who's the highest authority I don't know what do you mean you don't know aren't you their brave knight you don't even know who you're fighting for well it's not much of a fight I just limit myself to the legal work come on you're underestimating yourself here you have to deal with top secret stuff on a daily basis I'm sure you have a pretty good picture of what's going on with SBW uh, they don't fully disclose that kind of hierarchy to me, but I'd say Johanna Seftis is the top name here. Ah, and she happens to be missing the irony. Well, if you pull some of your strings to find her, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Plus, you'll get to speak with her, won't you? Right, that's a succulent in incentive. We'll see what I can do. Thank you. Okay, last question. What do we have? This one was the horse, and we had the ambition. What was the other one we had? Shoot, I don't remember now. Let me see. Um, ambition, stress. Let's go for stress. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, yeah. Let's pour correctly this time, shall we? We're gonna say that's close. 
this way. Thank you. There we go. Look, I shouldn't be wasting my time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. A drink won't hurt. Relax. You look stressed. Let's exploit that. Okay. Um... I kind of want to ask this one. I don't know how well I can bluff. Or if stress is the right emotion for that. I also kind of want to, um, this one. She is a lawyer, so she would figure that, uh, she would know about that stuff. And I'm debating on whether I want to use the pill or not, although I might not actually be able to if this is the last question. I'm going to think I'm going to go with this. Fuck me, it can't be next week. That's what my people on the inside told me. Those clowns from marketing are going to hear from me. We're always cleaning up after them in the legal department. In fact, a couple of my journal friends already know. Seriously, are they already on that phase of, gen of gene psych? What? Ah, uh, marketing stupid name for the press operation. Forget about it. Alright, so we have a couple more things that we found. Thanks for letting me know in any case. No problem. Well, I'm afraid you've run out of questions. I've got too much to do tonight, so goodbye. Sure, go and spread law through the town. You seem to be enjoying yourself, so just in case, I'll inform you of the current situation. Supercontinent is going through turbulent times right now. That's good, that spell's changed for a company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a trail of casualties. The way you're playing right now, you've got a ticket to become one of them. Be warned, Mr. Bartender. Didn't know corporate lawyers were in the business of extending such stylish, stylish death threat. Ha! There are many fates worse than death when coming when up against corporate law. Why can I never read when I'm playing this game? Have a good night. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Was my performance to your satisfaction this time? Excellent. Thank you very much. So, quiz time now? If you please. Of course, I find it quite amusing, in fact. 7 out of 10 or more earns me a prize, right? Go ahead. Is Naomi Cross a psychopath? What? You weren't going to ask me if she was attracting me this time? That's irrelevant for a nameless case. Answer the question, please. Is Nama across a psychopath? I don't think so. She doesn't. She didn't come across as. Well. What is her top priority right now? Um, sounds like maybe to find Johanna Seftis. Is SPW in jeopardy? Um, not sure. It's possible if Johanna is missing, since she was their chief operations person. We'll say yes. Does she know about that? Well, she said she doesn't know about a lot of the stuff that goes on. Not exactly her field, so we'll say no. Does she perceive you as a threat? I would say yes. She did give me a death threat, after all. Is she capable of betraying Supercontinent? Hmm... I don't know. I mean, she seems a lot as, like, her own person. But then again, she seems, like, really into her job and stuff. I'm gonna say no. That I would say yes for. Because, obviously, she was giving me a death threat. Okay, maybe not a death threat, but a bad things are going to happen to you threat. Murder. Capable of committing murder. Not sure about that one. I'm gonna say no. Does she believe it's a good thing? I think so, yeah. 
You think technology manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sale? What do you mean? If Supercontinent designed, created, and distributed the human upgrades, do they have the right to modify them? As in, by adding SPW to them? Among other things, do they have the right to modify them? Um, no, once purchased, it's yours. No technology bears responsibility. Yes, but they should be clear about it. Yes, we wouldn't have it without them. I would say yes, because but they should be clear about it. Because, I mean, like, obviously the SPW is bad. But what if there's, like, a, uh, you know, a bug in one of them or something? Then they can say, hey, we need to patch this. Kind of like with your phones, you know, they send out, like, new operating systems and patches and stuff like that. So I'd say, yes, but they should give you the option on whether you want to actually use, or whether you want to actually do it. So I guess that's kind of the yes. Supercontinent is concealing the fact that something they sold is going to fundamentally change you. Isn't that the normal procedure for all technology? Dozens of firmware updates are pushed on a daily basis. It's users accepting its terms and conditions blindfolded. So are you saying that this is the public's fault? I'm not very versed in the human concept of fault. It is my understanding, though, that accepting something without thought is a sign of trust. In this case, I'd rather call it an ig I'd rather call it ignorance than trust. People have been indoctrined over the years to accept whatever update or throw at them. So the problem is not supercontinent modifying its creation, but the lack of education among its users. In a free society, isn't education an individual responsibility? Not in my opinion. The powerful educate. Parents teach, schools teach, the media teaches, the government teaches. The issue might be then that you don't agree with what they're teaching. That's beyond doubt, yes. Was that a question or just food for thought anyway? Indeed, it was the tenth question. Thank you for elaborating. And, well, how did I do? Yes, I got 9 out of 10. <laughs> Congratulations, you won. Wonderful, what did I win? A short-term memory resetter. Oh, I thought it was going to be a different prize this time. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right that variety in the rewards can improve the game's design. I'll try to think of something different for next time we play. <laughs> the game's design. A little bit of fourth wall breaking there. Ah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Although I gotta confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. Glad to hear you're having fun. Uh, listen. I think I'm gonna close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting any more clients until tomorrow. Yes, it doesn't look like it. Can you tell too? Do you have instincts? What you humans call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. Why is my nose so itchy? simply can't follow the logical sequence due to the vast amount of data your brain processes. Unlike you, I am able to keep up with my brain. So basically, yes, your gut is right. We won't be having any more clients tonight. Good to hear, because my leg is killing me. Let's call it a night. So... Social psych welfare is some sort of digital happy pill. And the mirror neuron algorithm is supposed to spread it, even among non-implant users? What kind of voodoo is that? Beats me, Donovan is looking into it. So which one is Vega? I don't remember. Is it the blonde? I don't know. Wayne Bing, we're pretty much fucked. Supercontinent's private network is inaccessible from the outside. And their tower isn't the kind of place you can just walk into, precisely. You left us you, you left us with a nice farewell present, eh, Adriani? Adriadne. She's going to enjoy all this. Always love the hustle, that punk. Uh, shall we perform the last rites? Sure, you guys want me in on this? I'm not even part of Proxima. For some reason, Adriadne's chosen you as one of her digital heirs, so... Just accept her, Brandis. She shall live through us. Okay, I'll go first. Ariadne, I'll have your empathy. 
Let me better read into our enemy souls. Let me better understand our allies' passions. Adriani, I'll have your wits. Allow me to outsmart our foes. Help me survive on the field. You know, that's kind of creepy. Hmm. Knowledge or determination? I think knowledge might be better in this case. We'll go with that. I'll have your knowledge. I hope you don't regret this. Dude, couldn't you be a bit more poetic? And look as corny as you two? No way. Ha ha ha. Okay, release her into the ocean now. I wonder why they couldn't use all of her implants. Goodbye, warrior. Fizzle. Donovan? Hey, Brandis, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm about to open shop. Ah, yeah, a car is doing great. You gotta see them. They even designed a little game for us to play between clients. Come on, don't be jealous. You can play with us when you're back. Did you find anything useful? Wow, you sure work fast. And when is this security breach happening? Tomorrow? I just started gathering info. We need more time. You're sure there won't be another opportunity? Oh, shit. You'll need to do us a favor, then. Um... Let's see. Look for the director of the MNA. Find the COO or investigate the CEO. Ugh. I'm very tempted to go with looking for the CEO because if something's going on with him, it's probably filtering down through everything. I think I'm going to go with that one. Diana was pretty worried about Supercontinent CEO. He was genuinely frightened, I'm telling you. Diana has this crazy theory that the company's current CEO isn't Jack B. Gaynor anymore. He's not a lunatic, man. As she pointed out, Jack hasn't appeared in public at all over the last two years. I think we're sitting on a gigantic pile of dirt here. So please, dig into it. Donovan! Someone's approaching the bar. Gotta go. Take care. Bye. Why the alarm? Who is it? Dude. What the heck? Ghost. Supposed to be like a ghost? I've heard you craft drinks based on emotion. You heard right. I've also heard you deal with information. You seem to be well informed. I happen to be a dealer of sorts myself. I can get you whatever you wish for. There's only one rule. No weapons, no living being. I also happen to be thirsty as hell. So I thought we could be great business partners, you and I, Donovan. What do you say? I'm pretty confident I can quench that thirst of you. As long as you accept information as payment, I could really use an exotic supplier. Sure, don't worry about the details. Money is overrated in this city anyway. Let's take care of my thirst first, shall we? Right on it. Alright, so. Don Paradisi. I have no idea what that means. Hopefully it doesn't mean I'm going to kill you. I'm guessing it means no something, but I don't know what that is. I suppose I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Over. Looks like our regular bartending. We're going to need this. This is the shaker. With it, we can combine two or more spirits to obtain a powerful mix. The resultant blend will have the combined effects of its ingredients. For example, if bourbon moves the soul disc up and tequila moves it right, the resultant combination will move the soul disc diagonally towards the upper right. That way you can achieve the same results using half the amount of spirits. Cool! That leaves extra space in the glass to explore new, otherwise unreachable emotions. Use the shaker, just pour whatever you want inside it. Then grab it and shake it up and down until the spirit's colors merge. Can I, can I put this glass in it? Is 
Ah, come on. Oh, no, missed. Why is that not? Take it, wee! I guess we're shaking it this way. Right. Woo! Four. Alright, so that's how we do that. Okay, okay, okay. And just dump this out. I'm gonna start over. We're making a mess, but that's okay. Alright, so. I'm going to pour this in. Maybe. Dude, what's with this bottle? So then we will just be careful the amount we pour into the glass. Shaking the whole screen! Okay, so I think that might be okay. There we go. Did you just make that glass float? Hmm, this is flavor. So the legends were true. You are able to sink the customer's emotions with your cocktails. Can you tell? Yeah, I'm cut off from different... I'm cut from different cloth than the rest of you mortals. But don't sweat it, your secret's safe with me. Um, okay. As long as you enjoy your drink, I'm happy. Be happy then, because I haven't had a drink this good in ages. Horde, stop getting tangled up in stuff. Ah. Good, how can I help you? Did you have something in mind for this partnership of ours? For now, let's say I'm interested in backing your crusade against Supercontinent. I don't know if I trust you. So let me know if I can get you anything you need. Hmm, you said you can get anything? Yes, as long as it, as it isn't alive. I don't do weapons either. You do liquors? Ha! Huh, no one's ever sent me for booze, but sure, I can do. These liquors I need aren't your regular spirits. Red Secret and Blue Whisper. My master, previous owner of the Red Strings Club, had a couple bottles. But I haven't been able to get any more since those ran dry. I could work wonders with them. Sounds like an interesting endeavor. Consider it done. I'll be back with your stuff. Thanks for the drink. See you later, Donovan. You didn't even drink all your drink! You wasted my liquor! Oh, he's glowy. I just noticed that. That little glowy effect going on there. This is kind of this way. <laughs> That was a bit intense. Waste time then? No. No? I... I can't. I was able to read the subject. Who is he? Oh, looks like you're not omnipotent after all. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It puts me at ease, to be honest. Why? I find flaws to be a quick shortcut to empathy. Virtue begets admiration, sure. But a weakness here and there draws compassion and sympathy. No one likes a know-it-all. I see. I'll try to fail more often so you can feel more comfortable. No, that wasn't the point. Just be yourself. I like you already, okay? To be myself? Don't overthink it. You can't be anyone else. Okay. I'm still curious. Who is he? Um, This was my first time meeting him in person, but I've heard of him before. None of my contacts treated with him. Treated? Treated with him directly, but we'd all heard the legends. Bizarre smuggler who can get you anything you want in less than 24 hours. They call him Ghost. I mean, it could be Ghost. I'm not sure. I mean, it's spelled like Ghost, but it might be Ghost. He never asks for money, although clients always pay. Aren't you afraid? Can't say I'm not, as I'm sure your empathic devices have already told you. On the other hand, Ghost is not the only supernatural dealer around. I de detect a client approaching the club. Background check? 
I need more save points between all these conversations. Larissa Robillard, age 29, marketing director at Supercontinent Limited. Oh, nice. It looks like we hit the jackpot. You know her? She's one of the wildest night beasts a Neon has ever witnessed. If you run a club in this city, you're fated to meet her. Meet her in her very low-cut dress. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. I love you. Me too, Larissa. I missed you. It's been five days since your last visit. How cute. Did you actually count the days? Like every bartender in this town. I'm sorry I haven't been here sooner, Donnie. It's been a hectic week at work. I haven't set put foot in a bar in three days already. And I've heard many of my colleagues have been visiting the Red Strings Club of as of late. So unfair. I came here as soon as I finished tying up loose ends at the office. <laughs> I may have to rebrand if my only clientele are going to be core bred uh, bastards. Please don't. This is one of the few real places left to have a drink in this city. Although if you actually rebrand, you have my card, right? You never miss an opportunity. I just love my job. You have any of my stuff left? I'm fully stocked on your stuff. What kind of stuff is that? Illegal stuff? I sense you're a bit anxious. We're old friends, Donnie. You can cut to the chase and tell me what it is I can do for you. Uh, I can't hide a thing from you, can I? The matter is quite delicate, though. Closely related to your recent projects. I see... That explains why Diana and Naima came here yesterday. One day you'll have to explain to me how you pull so many strings without leaving the counter. I've told you a hundred times, this club is haunted. I'm a prisoner of the red strings. But in exchange, the club somehow weaves fate to please my desires. You won't ever stop spouting that mystic crap, huh? Gotta admit, it's great marketing, though. Building your own urban legend. <laughs> Laugh all you want, at least my... At least acknowledge my cocktails do pack some magic. That's undeniable, yes. You always make me feel things no other man ever draws out of me. But I'll ascribe that to your charisma. Are you in the mood to share some intel with me then? Oh, I'm absolutely in the mood. However, you're right that this is quite the delicate matter. So why don't we spice things up a little? I love to see your magic at work. But you always end up getting me horny and I spill everything you want to know. <laughs> Sorry. But here's the deal. You can ask me whatever you want, but before each question, you have to serve me a drink. And you can't repeat cocktails, okay? Sure, sounds fun. Fantastic. Now please, I've been sober far too long. Make me a drink! Alright. So. Madness, euphoria, lust, depression. I'm going to go with depression first. So we need an over a little bit. And a down. I should have said left and down. Because technically, ah, technically the right is over also. And I'm going left. Check it. it we are on depression why can't you just stick to beautiful feelings Donnie sadness isn't ugly Larissa I love all the melancholy you hide under that glittering veneer. It's incredibly beautiful, like meeting your raw self. You know you're the only person that's seen me cry since I was a teen, right? And I feel very fortunate you allowed me to witness such a tender sight. Ah, quit smooth talking me and asking something already. I need to wash out this feeling with another drink. Let's see, how are you going to convince people to swallow SBW and when? Have you met the new CEO? Any marketing ideas for the androids? Are you aware of the Johanna Septus situation? I'm gonna go with that one for this drink. 
Uh, yes. Poor you, Hannah. I guess you're celebrating she's lost it, aren't you? Um, wouldn't ever rejoice in personal misery. I wouldn't. I despise corporations, not people. Hell, I even despise Proxima, but Adriadne was my friend. Who? Never mind. The thing is that no, I don't like people suffering, no matter their beliefs. What's happening? Is it that grave? Johanna broke down out of stress. She's turned into this kind of hippie zen master. I don't know. No one's found her location yet. But she's been sending emails and making phone calls to me and my colleagues. Telling us about the wonders of life and embracing a new philosophy. She's got this plan to turn Supercontinent into a full charity project. She's very displeased with Supercontinent's new direction. And she believes we should all be taking it slower and be investing more time into establishing dialogues with our customers. Wow. Most of the calls end up with her crying over the phone. Saying she's sorry and that she'll never atone for what she's done at Supercontinent. And here it takes a dark turn. If she doesn't manage to make us change, she's probably going to end her life. Unable to bear the guilt. That's not good. That's never good. Okay, that gal needs help. <sighs> if I get a lead on her location, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. Another drink? Please. Alright. Uh, I might just go in kind of clockwise order here. Alright, so we need to go left again. And up. Oh. Pretty good. Alright. Uh, oh wait, that should be good. I just need to put an ice cube in. There we go. Okay. Madness! What an arresting drink! Makes me think of how we identify with our clothes and words. But they're not quite us as an identity. Moreover, in the same way, we're not our dress. We're not our feet or our belly buttons. We're not any of those peculi peculiarities. Bleh, but the sum of them. Uh, wait, here comes the mind blow. The same way my shoes aren't me, other people aren't me either. I mean, you, Donnie, clearly aren't me, right? Um, right. So if shoes, dress, toes, and lipstick aren't me, but in some way together they are, we could say that in some way you are me too, no? This date is going to be tricky to deal with. But maybe with the proper questions I can fish some juicy info out of the philosophic noise. Where should I direct the madness? Hmm. I'm going with either marketing or to convince people to swallow SPW. I'm gonna go with this one. It's SPW that's going to swallow people. We're just meshes of electric impulses carried around by sacks of meat. And SPW is going to rewrite the first chapter of every mythos. A veritable beast among the selling bestsellers. When the gods looked down at what they did, all spoke in unison. Genesis. 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 Gen what was it? Um, what was it? Genesike? That's it. Two weeks from now, SPW will become 100% operational. Hey, we got information. And Genocide will be unleashed into the world. Riding an electric storm made out of smiles and love. Shit, two weeks is too damn close. Tonight, we celebrate! I want another drink. Right away. Okay, so we have Euphoria and Lust. Okay... A little bit, little bit to the right, maybe. Right. Up.
and shake it. Okay. Good. Bloop. We're on euphoria, right? I'll make her so happy. Holy fucking yes! <laughs> my throat just, my voice just cracked. That's not supposed to happen. Do you like it? This is the best fucking drink I've had in my life. I love you, Donnie. I love you so much. I love you too, my goddess of fun. Okay, shoot before this beautiful rush vanishes. Vanishes? Vanishes, not vanishes. Um, CEO or marketing. Let's see if she's really happy about the marketing. Oh, Akara androids. They're just adorable. I haven't seen them in person, just concept art. Can't wait to start working on the marketing for it. I've been too busy with the amazing SPW, but I can already foresee how Akara is going to be a glorious project to work on. <laughs> happy to see you excited. Moreover, I love the guy who's in charge of its development. Dr. Edgar Coldstream. Nice name. You know him? I... Uh, you two should meet. Two of the most sexy men I know in the same room. Just imagining it makes me shake. I'll tell him to come by. You're gonna love each other. Uh... Uh... Okay, thanks. I want more drinks! Yes. Alright. Get down to the lust. They're saving that for last. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. That's not the one that I wanted. Stop! I wanted this way. Boop. Boop. Alright, good enough. That one. Alright, that looks good. Alright, shake it! Shake it, make it be shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it! Alright, good enough. Again, good enough. Boop. Boop. It might be too far, we'll see. Yep, we gotta go up a little bit. Alright. Right, so okay. Good at this. Any bit of wait, I just used that one. Thank you though. Up, up, up. Bit of up. Okay, good enough. Right. <laughs> okay, let's just get a tiny bit of down in there. There we go, okay. Well, that was kind of awkward, but we made it. I think it just saved two, which is good. Ah, you act you've actually done it, you sensual son of a bitch. Did what? Don't play coy with me, it only makes it worse. Now you've got me all wet, so either ask me a question or fuck me already. This is why I saved this one till last. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Have you met Supercontinent's new CEO? Um, you asking me to sell out my boss's cinnamon? What do you mean by new? Uh, he's been missing for two years. He hasn't appeared in public in at least that long. And coincidentally, Supercontinent's actions and philosophy have changed dramatically since then. Look, normally I just misdirect you with some story, but you're so irresistible. The mere possibility of getting on your good side and winning a ticket to your bed is worth the leak. Don't want to be dishonest with you, though. I'm afraid there's no chance of that happening. Ah, the universe is so cruel. But I won't be discouraged. Someday I'll become your your information-dealing muse. <laughs> what a muse to be. We have a new boss. Can't tell you what happened with Gaynor, though. No one knows. The new boss is a kid called Radhika. That's it? No last names? 
Maybe that is his last name. Nope, like you, no last names. She's about- oh, it's a she. I thought it was a guy, I don't know. She's about half your age. 20? So young for a CEO. What? Are you over 40? What? Is she under 20? You must be a god of beauty to look like that in your 40s. You must be a goddess of business to be running a core in her teens. You may be a goddess. I've seen her only three or four times in the last couple years. She rarely hangs out with us non-executive peasants. At just 15, 15, wow, the kid's otherworldly, super smart, super intense. So it's not like an android or something, is it? Because that'd be kind of odd. Or, you know, what, what kind of implants does this kid have? The company has grown wildly since she took control. Sure, some of my colleagues cracked under the pressure, but hey, that's natural selection for thriving companies. If you want to know more about her, you should ask the top brass. Sounds quite surreal, but you wouldn't tell a lie that far-fetched. Now I'm really curious. Do your best, my sexy secret monger. I'll have another drink, please. Right away. Oh wait! Arg, no more drinks. I really want to spend the night with you. I've got places I need to be and things I need to do after three sober nights at the office. And since you won't satisfy this body of mine, I'd better go. I wish you the best with your crusade. Call me when you're ready to sell your body for really good info. <laughs> I hope I don't need to get that extreme. For the good of both of us. Shame. See you soon, Pokeboom. <laughs> Take care, Larissa. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Alright. So I think I'm going to leave this episode of Red Strings Club here. Uh, got some actually pretty good, you, you, uh, pretty good information. I think the questioning for those people went fairly well. We got uh, quite a bit of stuff and we found out who the new CEO is. So that's always good. Um, found out that in two weeks the SPW is going to be released. Which doesn't give us much time. And apparently tomorrow is the time that the other people have to break in. Brandis and those guys. The Proxima people. So I guess maybe we're getting closer to the end. I don't know for sure. I have no idea how long this game actually goes. But... Anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, thank you all for watching. I appreciate anybody who checks out this channel, and I will see you in the next episode.